but I'm going to go ahead and uh, answer the one question that came in. <laughs> I would encourage you to go, uh, this question has a little bit to do with that. I would encourage you to go online uh, to thejourneyonline.com and listen to, go to watch and listen, and you can actually go to our podcast. And uh, in that area, you can actually see the latest podcast we did, Zach and I did, about Christians and drinking in terms of our responsibility. Uh, it's a big, big theme of what we were talking about even today. The one question that came in uh, really did have to do with, again, does it matter if, you know, do rules not matter if responsibilities uh, are greater? And here's what I would say. I would say no. The, the, the reality is, is that, and I didn't say this very much in the sermon, but if you take the, the responsibility Christ gave us to love others as much as he's loved us, the reality is, is that all the rules that are listed, the do's and don'ts, even the New Testament, they all point back to the, the greater responsibility, meaning that, you know, we don't have sex outside of marriage, um, be, not just because it's a rule, not because God's going to be mad at me if this happens. It, 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 the reason we don't have sex outside of marriage is because when we do that, we are violating uh, not just the rule, but we're violating this trust that we're trying to build with someone that we're going to love them the way Christ loved us, that we're not going to try to manipulate them. We're not going to try to use or abuse them. It doesn't matter if you're engaged. We're not going to do engage in this, this intimacy that God created for marriage because why? Because they're going to be married to somebody else, or that might not work out, or whatever the case is. We're not going to do that because it doesn't live us up to the responsibility to love them the way Christ loves us. The reason we don't lie, right? The reason we don't lie is not because God would be mad if we, if we lied. That's not, I mean, that's a rule. But you have to understand, the reason we don't lie is because it, it breaks relationships. It breaks trust. You know, God doesn't lie to us. Jesus would never lie to us. So why in the world, in terms of us living out this responsibility of, uh, of um, you know, lo loving God the way, he, or loving others the way he loved us, why would we, we don't lie? That's the reason we don't. So if we understand, if we begin to look at even just the, the rules in the New Testament, how do we do this, right? How do we do this by living up to the responsibility? Well, the rules kind of point those things out to help us know that the responsibility is what really is still greater. When we, when we seek not to, we're not, it's like, we're not seeking to not do something. We're seeking to return and actually live to the responsibility he's called us to, which then in turn turns, you know, turns away the actual rules, so to speak, that are there. So the rules are important. Don't, don't mistake and understand that the rules don't matter. Uh, the rules are there to list what sin is, what sin isn't. Um, but the reality is it will never take place of, of the trust and the responsibility that he's placed on us to live by the Spirit, to live according uh, to him. And so um, I just definitely challenge you guys to go back, listen to that also, um, to continue to tune in. Next week, I know Don's going to be speaking specifically to uh, not just uh, responsibility, but just how does that begin to play out in role and function uh, in, in a man's life. So it doesn't matter whether the man is single, uh, married, got kids as a father or not a father. Like there's, there's some basic principles that God's called us to in terms of the role he's called us to in our lives that every man is called to, regardless of the state, regardless of that doubt. Yeah, it affects us as husbands. It affects us as fathers. It affects us, but, but the bigger, bigger picture is the role, um, the bigger role that he's called every man uh, to do. So we hope you'll continue uh, to go through the series and appreciate you guys continuing to send questions in. We'll probably end up doing um, uh, another podcast similar to the one we did uh, a couple weeks ago uh, in a few weeks. I just dro dropped the mic. Sorry. All right, that's it. Thanks, guys. Bye.